The headline of this damn game is the fact that Brandon Staley is a freaking idiot. Brandon Staley is the worst coach in the NFL. Period. What does Brandon Staley do? What does he do? I mean, like, what? Can someone explain to me what Brandon Staley does? Why does he still have a job? Why? He, he's terrible at managing the game. He doesn't know when to go for it and when not to go for it. And his defense, he's a defensive coach. He sucks. He can't do it. Guys, they're playing Tyreek Hill, okay? They're playing Tyreek Hill. Do we see this comment on my screen right now? They're playing Tyreek Hill. It's single coverage the whole game. The whole game. I mean, how long does it take to double team a guy that is literally named Cheetah? His name is the Cheetah. How long does it take? This is coaching 101. Don't let Tyreek Hill beat you. How do we lose? We let Tyreek Hill beat us. That's how we lose this game. And we let Tyreek Hill beat us. Every single time. Every single time the Miami Dolphins needed to play. You see Tua throwing the ball to Tyreek Hill. I mean, I could not make it up. Watch the highlights. Every single time. You, you can't let this guy beat you. you. You have to double him. You have to triple him. You have to quadruple him. You can't let him win the game. Let anyone else. Anyone. Braxton Berrios. Craycraft. Uh, Mostert. Even Waddle. Even Waddle. Let him win. Why is Tyreek Hill going for 200 yards? This should not happen in the NFL. Tyreek Hill's unbelievable. I've said many times he deserved two MVPs. He's the best player in football. He's the best receiver in football. All that stuff. I've said that many times. And as much as I like Justin Jefferson, I think you've got to give that crown back to Tyreek Hill, man. He ripped that crown right off Justin Jefferson's head and put it back on his head. Like, you can't let this guy do that. And it's not like they were scheming up screens and RPOs. Bro, this guy was running straight. Or he was just running across the field. I couldn't even tell you how many crossers I counted that got wide open. I mean, Tua's throwing the guys... That are open by 10 yards. Like these guys. Mike McDaniel. Give him credit. Like round of applause Mike McDaniel. I don't know what drug you snorted. But man that game plan was fantastic brother. I don't know how much alcohol you consumed. But brother. That was a great game plan. Great game plan. My goodness. Everyone was wide open. And then. The Dolphins score a touchdown. Well, guess who? Tyreek freaking Hill because we didn't double team him. And then, by the way, that's with two minutes left. We still not double teaming Tyreek Hill with two minutes left. How is this guy not fired? Anyways, you've got 145 left. You've got two timeouts. You've got Justin Herbert. You've got Keenan Allen. You've got Mike Williams. You've got Gerald Everett, Austin Eckler. I mean, what do you need here? And they don't get anything out of the drive. They get nothing. All they need is a field goal to win the game. They've been moving the ball all game. Kellen Moore's offense gets sacked twice. And I have to say this. Justin Herbert, you got to win that game. You've got to win that game. 145 left. One of the highest paid quarterbacks in the league. Three stud receivers. A stud running back. Your left tackle's back. Herbert chokes again. I don't want to hear it. Again.
Tennessee Titans, and the LA Chargers. I don't know how many people I saw on Twitter. Oh, the Chargers, they lost again. Oh my God, they lost. Oh, I can't believe it. The Chargers lost. Okay, first of all, bro. The Chargers, let me check the stats. They had less first downs. 22 to 19 for Tennessee. The LA Chargers defense. This is the second week in a row, bro. Did anyone watch the Tennessee Titans offense play last week? Please. Somebody answer. Did anybody, and I mean anybody, Bruh. watch the Tennessee Titans offense play last week? Versus the New Orleans Saints. Anybody. Tom says, yup. Thank you, Mr. President. They were horrible. And like, unbelievably bad. To the point where like, people were talking about, please bench Ryan Tannehill or I will rage quit. And I don't think they were talking about rage quitting Tennessee. I think they were talking about rage quitting Life. It was that bad. So Tennessee, after that performance versus the Saints, one week later, after the Chargers allowed 7,000 yards to Tyreek Hill and Tua turned the ball over, Tennessee had 22 first downs. 22 to the Chargers' 19. They went 6 for 13 on third down. And the Chargers, guess, went 2 for 14 on third down. How do you expect to win a game when you're 2 for 14 on third down? The Titans had 140 rushing yards, 340 yards, They led, the lead, they led the game in penalties and they still lost. They had 36 minutes in possession. If you're wondering what the problem with the Chargers is, it's the fact that their defensive coach named Brandon Staley can't stop a freaking nosebleed. They just played arguably the worst offense in pro football. And they allowed 27 points. They allowed 50% on third down. They allowed more first downs than they got. Speaking of that, right? Justin Herbert in this game against a very good defense had 300 yards and two touchdowns. Keenan Allen had eight catches for 111 yards and two touchdowns. Mike Williams had eight catches for 83 yards. And you lost to a team who can't score any points, and yet they can only score points against you. Who is the problem here? Who is the problem? Brandon Staley. Staley. 